Nottingham CX has proved to be quite interesting this time for good and bad reasons. Let's get into it. Welcome to PS Too Many Games. <laughs> PS Too Many Games.
guys, want the PS2 mini games? It's time for another glorious CX episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going forward, you're going to see CXs a little less often. The uh, reason is twofold. Uh, main reason, as you can imagine, the closer we get to the rough goal of between 22 to 2400 PS2 games, it's going to become rarer to find games. I know, shocking. And CX is going to become less viable. CX roulettes, though, will become more crucial. So visiting CXs will become rarer. <laughs> the other reason is I have actually uh, agreed in principle with two deals for, with viewers of the channel for games that are reasonably rare. Uh, as you can imagine, rare games means expense. <laughs> and since I've agreed in principle, and when I actually get around to buying these games, I will obviously follow through with my uh, commitments. Uh, as you can imagine, that means less money for other visits. <laughs> God, it's, oh, you ever one of those days where you literally just can't say anything correctly? This is that episode. <laughs> this thing is mine, Grr! So what are you going to see over the next two months? Uh, quite a few CX roulettes. Uh, they're going to come quite important in the next uh, year or so, but I'm going in reasonably heavy over the next month, so you're going to see at least two to three more in November. Obviously, this CX episode come out today. Uh, which day that is, I ain't got a clue. I'm just winging it at the moment. Uh, I want to do an episode on CX rarities because I want to actually understand the prices. <laughs> I've been trying to understand for the last eight months the prices, but... They keep rapidly changing. I mean, like, Royal Rose, we know the reason that's coming down. But the, some of the prices are going through the roof, and it's like... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, there might be, like, other very small visits, but probably will be to, like, the last level games. But anyway, as you can imagine, Christmas will take uh, precedent. So I'm hoping to do two episodes each week up to Christmas. I might have to skip one. Uh, purely for many reasons. Main reason is uh, work. <laughs> work. I, I need. I need the monies to spend the monies. <laughs> that's how. That's how uh, capitalism works. <laughs> uh, things are going incredibly well for the channel, personally. Uh, through statistics, because <laughs> I just I've, I check statistics every once a week. I mentioned in the past. I don't do it every day. I do it like once a week. Uh, I, I check it once a day for like. Just see the channel still there, still running, still nothing's gone horrifically, horrifically wrong. <laughs> but we're, as of recording, this is the 20th of October, as of recording, this is already, is, or is about to become the best month for this channel's history. For many different reasons. Uh, also, in the last week or so, through uh, two of my better episodes I've done some time, uh, and thumbnails, thanks to Katie's Bricks and Gaming, uh, who's been a massive help for this one. Uh, we've received uh, a lot more new viewers and, and a few more subscri subscriptions. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> He's going to lose his mind. You know, there are some episodes where I will legit just one take it. I will rarely make any mistakes. This is not one of those episodes. This, there is, you can always tell how many mistakes are made for the amount of cuts I make in these episodes. <laughs> Oh, good lord. Mm. I'm just going to let it all hang out this episode. Screw it. I'm going to be as open as possible. <laughs> to my detriment. Anyway, uh, so, CEXs. <laughs> Nottingham, Nottingham, Victoria and Long Eaton proved to be quite successful for shovelware once again. Uh, people, a lot of people say, why do you get excited about shovelware? You don't understand. Uh, and I've said this many times, and I'll say it one more time. Shovelware is legit. Some of these, some of these games that are practically worthless are so much harder to find than some of the rarest games, because no one kept these games. These games are so worthless. People just threw them in the trash. So you got a low-selling game that no one bought. That people just threw in the trash anyway. And the sun is just like sports titles, so they're never going to be super, super expensive. No one wants them. <laughs> so it falls to one man. <laughs> to collect the shittest of shit games. And today we've got a couple of what would be deemed shovelware. <laughs> and uh, I'm elated to have them. <laughs> On a side note, a uh, very close friend in real life and viewer of the channel, thank you for viewing, you know who you are, uh, did say they would be happy to find and buy any Barbie games that I need. Uh, <laughs> I've said it, I've said it uh, before. 
for some reason, and I've bought some real cringe shit. When it comes to Barbie, I just can't do it. I can't buy it in public. I have to eBay that shit or something else. But I've been putting it off for quite a while. To my detriment, because look, there's like four Barbie games for the PS2. I own one of them. Bear me a second. I own this one. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so there are three more. And actually, they're reasonably expensive games. Uh, they're actually shockingly rare games to find too. Uh, I haven't been looking for them, but I, when I noticed them in the CEX, I actually ignored them. <laughs> so, for that person who's willing to do that for me, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you, you don't understand how much that means to me. No joke there, that's, that's me being thankful. Wow, it's, it has got a bit weird, didn't it? <laughs> well, this is awkward. So let's, let's get a bit of seriously. Long eating CEX, for those who don't know what that is, that is bit, that's basically South of Nottingham in these place of Long Eaton. Very small, very cosy CEX. Liked it a lot. Uh, also found one of the rarer children's uh, PS2 games I've been looking for some time. So I was late to find that. You'll find out what that is a little later on. Nottingham Victoria was a pisser to find. It's in the Victoria, like, more on the side Nottingham. But Google tracks tracking that CEX was hard. Me and Dan got lost not once, not twice, but thrice. <laughs> How the hell we got lost in the mall three times was unbelievable. But we were tired at that point. We had been out. We were up since like five o'clock. It was like far three in the afternoon. We were knackered, to be honest. But yes, for some reason, Google cannot find the CEX in Nottingham, Victoria. And we had to ask a person in real life. We had to ask a human being. I know. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, that's the place where we got our most expensive game of the day. And that was the only game we got from that place. And... I would say Nottingham Victoria has probably some of the best customer service I've ever had in a CEX. No joke. Well done, Nottingham Victoria. Nottingham store, which is literally in the centre of Nottingham, uh, that was an interesting CEX. They had two floors, which was not common, but ups they put all the retro games upstairs. And the shelves were in not great condition. <laughs> but once again, the customer service is very good, so I can't criticise that. But obviously, it is stated before, and... I mentioned it in the uh, the basically log episode with Dan from last week, the car the car episode. I'm almost certain the CX makes so much more money from mobile phones than from computer games. So of course I'm going to push mobile phones. It's literally their bread and butter. But computer games is more like the uh, the prawn cocktail. It's reasonably popular, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> the hell was that? So anyway, in total, eight games were CEXs, but. Uh, <laughs> I somehow managed to miss one game for what, from the Nottingham Game Market last week. So we went through the 15 games. There was actually a 16th game I bought. It's actually a game I own, but I didn't own this version. So I'm just going to show it off right now. Uh, the Area 51 Steelbook. And as you can imagine, I'm just going to open the, open the package. Steelbooks aren't common these days. So any kind of steelbook I don't own, I'm going to go for. So yeah, I, I'm elated to get this. I really am. Uh, £6 pay, which is probably a little more it's worth. Uh, yeah. Well, cool factor again. Uh, I've never played Area 51. It's one of those games I really need to play. Made by Midway before they, they uh, put themselves out of business. Uh, need to play this. Once again, the luck I've had with Steel Books and Special Editions in the last two months has been amazing. I mean, I've I'm ne I'm nearly doubled my Steel Books and, and Special Editions in two months. As I say, the luck for this channel has really come on since August, because August was one of the worst months of the channel. And I've been told by other YouTubers that August usually is the worst month of the year for YouTube. Uh, just for views. Generally, not, not for the interaction, just for views. Because obviously people are enjoying themselves. How dare you enjoy yourselves outside? You should watch TV 24-7. No, seriously, get outside, it's healthy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was stuff and I legit forgot. I, don't, I just misplaced it like for two days. I went, oh yeah. Found it in the most strange of places. I'm not going to tell you where. Anyway, we're going to reach the halfway point. We're going to throw a commercial on right now. I don't know what I'm going to choose. We'll see what happens. See you on the other side. Woo! <laughs> In a city where chaos rules, only one man can save humanity from total destruction. Hmm. It's up to Homer Simpson and family to save the world from a diabolical plot as they run and drive to unravel the conspiracy. Black Finch! Critics call it the best Simpsons game ever. 
Get the Lord, Deuce. The Simpsons Hit and Run, rated T for T. I am evil, Homer. And as you can see, I'm free coffees in today, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty ready to go. <laughs> Anyway, let's go through these eight games one by one. I will try to remember which store I got them from. To be honest, as you might see from the footage, I was getting tired and I barely fell for the CEXs. I'm sorry. I'm genuinely I'm sorry. I was just... Long day. <laughs> anyway, let's go through one by one. We'll do the shovelware first because uh, there's two or three games for shovelware. The first one feels very shovelware-y. That's not even a word, but I'm going to just go with it. Uh, International Q Club. Q Club? Q Club? Q Club? <laughs> International Q Club 2. Now, this is actually rarer than you think it is. This is one of those games where no one really wants it, and yet it's so hard to find. Uh, it's just Paul. It's American Paul. Uh, <laughs> I have bought in the past a lot of snooker games. I have played them. They can be like nice and like peaceful games because it's like you sit there and there's like no, and then he's like, he's like pop the black. It's like oh. Very nice, bro. <laughs> uh, modern day snooker is getting a bit too much football like, where the, where the fans shout too much. The whole point of snooker is supposed to be one of those like peaceful games, and now you get this, this, this like the people have to shout, Go on, Ronnie! <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> that bar is badly understaffed. It started. <laughs> Oh, and that's a bad miss. <laughs> so, game number two, another generic uh, sports title. Actually, really hard to find. National Hockey League 08 EA Sports, NFL 08. Uh, I think I'm nearly there with the hockey games now. One pound pay, as you saw. Uh, I, I like ice hockey. It's one of the only sports where they let you fight, then they punish you. <sighs> Can you imagine football where you know you're going to send them off? It's like, you know what? Let, let him punch him. <laughs> it's like... And he works in ice hockey. Mm. Anyway, decent sport. Wish we had more ice hockey in Great Britain. I'm serious about that, by the way. Anyway, happy to have it. Game number three, and this is probably the most shovelware of the day. World Poker Tour. I've mentioned in the past, the amount of poker games on the PS2 is a bit ridiculous. Like, there's like four or five of them. And I know Texas Holden became quite popular in the, like, the late tw two, like 28, uh, 28, good lord, 2008, 2009, 2010. They're like, oh, good God, look at that disc. <laughs> oh, I'm going to test that. That is... I can't show you. This is... Pro yeah, there you go. You can see it. I'm going to just twirl a little. There's, there we go. Look at the shit on that. <laughs> uh, you know... As long as it plays, I'll keep it. If this was like any other game which was worth more than five, I would probably just return it. But it's such a generic game that I don't, I'm not going to let it find again. I'm going to have to test it, so I'll tell you next time it works. But yeah, that's one of the worst tips I've seen in some time. Uh, that came from the uh, Nottingham store. That's the store which was the shelves were a bit ragged. So did Q Club 2, by the way. And, and all three of these games came from that same store, so... <sighs> I should have really expected that, really. <laughs> uh, game number four, a Phoenix game. Drag Racer USA. Uh... <sighs> There we go. You can always tell us a Phoenix game by the terrible black and white discs. Uh, I don't. I know nothing of this game. Uh, discs is all right. It, it, it's better than the last one. Put it that way. Uh, we will read the back. I'm always a big. Con oh, hello. Hmm. So this is the German version. I just noticed this because the back on the back here. If you look at the bottom here. Yeah, that's a German flag right there. <laughs> uh, but my rules are: if it plays in English, which the second language is in English. Yeah, so it plays in English, so I'm going to keep it. I mean, this case has to be two lines of English on the back. Feel all single... Feel all. Good luck. Feel. Feel. Do you feel? <laughs> feel all 600 plus brute horsepower shake through your body as the engine roars at a touch of the throttle. That is literally all you get for that game. Chef's kiss. <laughs> oh. This today's been a struggle. <laughs> Uh, that's another game. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, I've taken literally like 25 minute break uh, to try and like compose myself. Like, not laughing wise, like, because uh, this has been one of the hardest films, uh, filmings of the channel I've done in some time. I don't know why, just it's not gelling at all. But anyway, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. So, 
Game number five. Uh, this is actually a game I've been looking for some time. National Hockey League Hits Pro. Uh, by the way, Detroit Red Wings on the front. Yes, I know my hockey teams. Uh, game and disc. Reasonably good condition, I'm hoping. Yes, yes, this actually is in good condition. Uh, another hockey game. So, I believe this was before that you had to have the national license to have these games. I don't know. There's nothing really to say about this, because it's just a hockey game. I'm sure it was good back in the day. It's £4 now, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> anyway, happy to have it. Uh, game number six is a game that's been very hard to find. I haven't been actively looking for it, but I've known of its existence for some time, and I knew it would be a piss of the find. But I got very lucky, because in Long Eaton, they had the magnum opus that is Paddington Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking six pound pay for this. Oh my God. Uh, disc and manual. By the way, that is one of the thinnest manuals I've ever seen. That's about 10 pages. And uh, you might have guessed already, this is a blast game. And holy shit, that disc. Oh my God's sake. Come on, come on. There we go. Can you see that? That is in terrible condition. <laughs> That's two games now I've got to test. Fuck me. <laughs> you know, with the real cheap shit, I don't check the discs at the end of the day. It's like, some of this stuff, so hard to find, I'm just going to take a risk. And uh, I'm assuming... How can I put this? I don't know if it's a British version of this. There should be, because this is apparently the Spanish version. <laughs> oh, good lord. Pato Cuarta, 42, the Windsor Gardens. <laughs> good lord. Because obviously, apparently padding comes through. I have never watched a padding. I don't care for padding. It's not my kind of thing. <sighs> Problem is, my rule is if it plays an English, I'm going to keep it. So I've got to play this. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what's going to happen with it. It's not going to play in English at all. I'm going to have to get another version. <laughs> Moving on. Right, the last two games are actually games that I'm actually very happy to get. Uh, the next one has been very hard to find. I've had the first and the third one, but National Football League Street 2. This has been shockingly hard to find. £5 paid. Uh, I like the street games. The, the FIFA Street, National Football League Street, the Basketball Street. They're all good games. They all still play shockingly well. This is very good, by the way. Uh, so... This is the last street game I had to find, so I have no longer got to look for some kind of sporting street game. Which might not sound like a big deal to you, but to me personally, that is fantastic. <laughs> now, the last game actually costs something more than the rest of them. This costs 20 quid. Considering the most expensive game we've seen so far is £6, this is a step up. This is the only game I got from Nottingham Victoria. So, only one game, but impeccable customer service. And uh, Akira Psycho Ball, £20. Bandai game, so anime. <laughs> I'm um, hoping it's going to play well like most Bandai games. Uh, look, I know nothing of Akira Psycho Ball. Someone could tell me like the backstory, because I'm assuming it's an anime. That would be greatly appreciated. Disc is pretty good, by the way. Uh, this is the British and Italian version, by the way. Uh, the, it says on there, Manuel Italiano, but it's actually in British. So, rock that. I don't know if the grey case is actually like the original version, but I'm hoping it's just unique like that. But another reasonably rare game not off the list very happy to have that so all in all eight games some real crap in there <laughs> but actual games i needed and some of the games i actually will try but i've got a test pad and bear to see if it plays in english i've also got a test there's another game in there that's not the english version drag racer usa so there's got me a lot of things i've got to do and when that's the end of this episode please comment like subscribe uh things are always me I say reasonably good. Things are good at the channel at the moment. The only thing missing at the moment is uh, Dave. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss you, Dave. I must be honest. Uh, besides that, everything's perfect at the moment. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.